Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Today I have, I believe it is the May box from Your Creative Studio. Um, I think it was the May. Let's see. So we're gonna we're gonna work with that a little bit. So I'll share a link to Your Creative Studio. It's yourcreativestudio.com in the description box below. And so um, this little card, I'm sorry you guys, I have a cold, horrible cold. I'm just gonna try and get through this video. Um, it seems to look kind of, well, there's like a lizard and flamingo, so tropical maybe, um, summertime. So that usually gives you a little clue of what it is. I'm saving the, the backing papers here. I'm just going to grab it out. Ooh, there's lots in there. Okay. So let's just have a look here. Let's see, look at all the good stuff. See, there's a lot in those little boxes. Let's start here. So this is some of the, it's like tissue paper. Um, and I think there's like five or six sheets in there. And this has like some flowers on it and kind of a mauve color maybe. So that's really cool. So you get those. I'm actually gonna open them because I keep them with my tissue paper anyways, so. Yeah, see they're like really thin tissue collage paper. Almost feel like a waxy top maybe. So those are cool. Okay, I'm gonna put that right back in the box here. Uh, actually, I'll just set it over here. All right, and then let's go to the paper here. I see flamingos. It's so it says 24 sheets. Um, there's six sticker, vellum, art, and pattern paper. So let's just see here. They're packaging. I always keep that too because you can use that to make things. So here we have a flamingo. There's a iguana. There's like, yeah, definitely tropical vibe, I think. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at how pretty that is. A big bird. What is that? Is that a toucan or something? This is really pretty. And then the vellum. So the same prints. They're just in the different textures of paper. So it's cool. This is a thicker paper here. Again, we have all of the prints in there. And then I think this is sticker paper. Again, all the prints. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, when we look at it, I'm going to set it over here in a pile. And what do we have here? I think I have to sneeze. <sighs> It'll sneak up when it's ready. These are, they look like uh, tickets. Floral illustration. Sticker pack, it says. So I don't know if they're stickers or... You know, there's tons of them in here. Wow. There's lots of them. Oh yeah, these will be fun. So you ink them up and fold them over and those are really pretty. Yeah, there's tons of them in here. I don't even know how many there is. I thought it would maybe say 36 pieces it says, but I mean there's four on a piece. So I'm guessing there's a lot. I think there's 36 strips actually. But I mean, it's just never ending. <laughs> That's cool though. Those are gonna be fun. I think we're gonna play with those maybe. I'm gonna set them right up there. What is this? The packaging is cool. The envelope is really cool. I don't know, let's just have a look. Yeah, I don't wanna wreck this envelope. It's really cool. So it's really stiff, the packaging is. There's strips in here, let's see, and they're, I feel like they're stickers. I just wanna check and see here, I don't have any fingernails, and my fingernails are gross, I've been cleaning in my yard and stuff, so. So that's why partly what I have, I feel like might be allergies, you know? But yeah, they're stickers, I like washi stickers. Oh, that's really cool. 
Okay, so washi cool, washi, washi cool, <laughs> washi sticker strips. So let's just kind of go through these. And there's a couple different sizes and colors. So some stamps. Oh yeah, here's some more. You can cut those apart or leave them. Those are really cool. Okay, and there's tons of them as well. I feel like we had sticker strips in another pack um, or like washi strips like that in another pack too. So here we have some ephemera. Let's see. We, we always get one of these little sheets. This one has the bird. I don't know if you can see that on there. It's going to focus. But they're just little, they're like clear stickers, stamps. So those are cool. Okay. I know I want to open this, but let's just see. We'll get through this stuff here. Oh, here's some more stamps. Okay, I don't think they're stickers, but they're perforated and everything. And oh, those are pretty. Look how pretty those are. So it's kind of tropical, but yet it's, I mean, pink and floral. I see a lot of uses for this stuff in this box. So it's not like it's just flamingos, you know, in, in iguanas or whatever. But these are really, really pretty. So this, I like this collection. I, I really do. So those are cool. Let's see, this is washi. I like their washi. Okay, the, oh, this is a fun one. It's kind of just a muted brown, kind of a brown burgundy. It's got that leaf pattern in it, but it's really subtle in the background, so that's cool. Okay, let's see what this is. Labels. I wasn't gonna open them, but I'll just open them and we'll see if I can. have a look at those I don't think I don't there might be stickers it doesn't say stickers that I can see though but it's really sealed <laughs> okay yep labels okay how do I open there we go Okay, so we just have a bunch of different shaped labels. And, oh, that's really cool. Really grungy butterfly looking on that girl. I don't know if you guys can see these, but they're really pretty. There's flowers. I, I'll use, I'll definitely use a lot of these. So those are cool, and I just want to make sure I don't think they're stickers. Oh, they are. They are stickers. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we have those. Let's see here, open this one and then we'll open the ephemera next. What do we have here? Plant specimen. Oh, okay, this one is little booklets. These are fun because if you need a focal point on a tag or even on collage sheets or anything, these, these are great. Maybe that's what we'll do with this one. We'll make a collage sheet and then you can see what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know, but look at, there's so many cool ones in here. They're so stinking cool. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna be playing with that. Um, so let's see here. These little stickers, I don't think I'm gonna open them. They're just little tiny washi stickers. There's little flamingos and flowers and it looks like maybe a bonnet or something or an envelope it was. So. Those little tiny stickers. Those will be fun in those little clusters or something. Okay, so set those over here. And let's look at this ephemera here. Again, I'm gonna save their packaging because, well, their packaging is cool. See, perfect. Okay, we have some leaves. Those are really cool in the pink leaves. Just gonna grab a couple here. Got the bigger flamingos with the leaves and stuff behind it. The plant, there's a little toucan. Oh, that's like a heart shape, that's cool. A little pineapples, some more leaves, a feather. Some more floral leaves. There's that iguana. 
I can hear my puppies outside the door. <laughs> Those are really cool. Those will be fun. Oh, and look at there's the bird. Okay. So all kinds of them in there. I don't know how many is in there, but there's a lot of them. And they have that muted kind of, you know, look. And so it doesn't have to be all, you know, tropical or you can you can still use it, you know, on there. And then there's stamps, and we're gonna try their stamps here. So this one looks like a bird. And this one looks also like a bird. So it feels like there's more than one in here, or it's a big one. Oh yeah, there's two in here. Okay. That is cool. Okay, so we got that big flamingo and that leaf is gonna be really fun. Just wanna open these quick and then I'm gonna go let the puppies in and then we'll come back and work on our project. So and there's the bird and a pineapple. So those are really fun. So that's what's in the box. Now I'm gonna go and let my dogs out and then I'm going to come back and we're gonna make something. Okay, so I'll see if they're gonna be happy for a minute. They didn't wanna come in, I don't know what they're doing, but they're quiet for a second here. Um, so let's go ahead and stamp our images here. Now I don't have an acrylic block over here right now, so I'm just gonna use my hands. So know that these, their stamps always stamp amazing with so much detail. So if it doesn't, it's user error on my part because I'm not using a block, but. I got his foot off the bottom here too because I wasn't paying attention, but. Look at it. Isn't that cool? The detail in their stamps are just really cool. So. I'm just getting that off. Okay, now we're gonna try the bird here. Same thing, I'm not grabbing a block. I don't know, I have one somewhere, but. Yeah, that's my fault. I didn't have enough ink on there, but look at the detail. That's so cool. So. Now we'll try the pineapple. That was really good. See the detail? It's crazy how much detail is in there. And the leaf. The leaf is really cool. I'm excited about the leaf. Perfect. So their stamps are really cool. So we're gonna set those aside. I just wanted to stamp those so you could see them because their quality on their stamps is always really good. And then, now let's see here. Don't mind my fingers, I, they're just horrible. And what I was thinking we could do here is I just grab a little bit of a text block and a coffee dyed paper here. And what I want to do is I want to grab the papers. Now this is the sticker paper. So I don't want the sticker paper. Okay, that's not sticker paper. I want to make sure it's not. Oh, I hear you, Bailey. She's freaking out, so that's her. Now maybe she wants to come in. Okay, so I am back and I, let's see here. Should have thought this through. I'm gonna use the actual sticker sheets, I think. Um, and try to um, just make a collage sheet here really quick. Just bigger pieces and whatever. So I'm just cutting these, and you can cut them however you want. I'm just doing them in different size pieces, and then and then we'll have them, you know, to put on there. Uh, I feel like I have a sneeze again, guys. So, and I'm just gonna go right there, and I'm gonna save this bird. I think actually, you know what? We might use him. So he's kind of big though. So when I make a collage sheet, if he gets cut apart, you know, I don't want half a bird on it, but. The flamingo is, I think, too big. So. And you can cut these up as you go or however you want to. Um, doesn't matter. I'm just cutting them ahead of time. And I'm gonna sneeze here again. Okay. 
Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, goodness. I'm probably just gonna collage this and then fast forward through this. So just fast forward if you, you know, cause I'm just gonna try and stick these down. I hope it works for me. But it might be a challenge for me to peel all these off, the stickers, you know? So maybe papers would have been the smarter way. And I was thinking I was gonna do this to make it quicker. And I'm not inking any of these or anything. And if there's stuff hanging off the edge, I'll just trim it off. So, oh, excuse me. Okay, so there is our collage board on a coffee sheet, and this was just the sticker papers. Now, I do know that we want to look through here, and this is these are a little bit darker, and so they might give us a little bit of contrast. However, I don't know if I'm gonna find exactly what I'm looking for with this color theme in here, but there's a million of them, so. I'm not sure that any of these are really what I was thinking, but I do know these strips here that came with the box. Um, let's see here. That one would be really cool on there. We need maybe a pop of color or something.
I'm just looking through these here. Okay, let's set those aside. Now these little stamp ones I'm gonna set here. But let's see if we can add some color to this. Like, I don't know why we couldn't, honestly. We're going to. Do their sticker as well. Okay, and it's just, yeah, it's like washi tape almost. We'll cut those off on the end. But. We might have too many picked out here, but I mean, I think it's kind of cool. So we cut that one like right there. So we can always use that little piece as well if we want to. Okay, let's put that one up there but I think I'm gonna turn it around so well it doesn't matter they're gonna be cut apart into tags anyways and stuff so it doesn't matter what direction it's going I guess Okay, now we have our stamps here. And are they individual stickers or are they solid? I think they're solid. Let's see. Okay, so they are. I'm just layering stickers, so it just goes to show that, I mean, you can do a collage page with paper, stickers, whatever you want. Just trimming that uh, ver verbiage off in between there, in between the two stickers, so. Okay. Now the bird kind of is lost in there, I guess, but Okay, I don't, I don't know that I'm gonna use these ones right now because I think it's got the brown on the outside of it and I don't really want that and I don't wanna take the time to cut them all out right now. If I was doing like a, well, I don't know. No, I don't want those ones on there right now. But I think those ones look really cool. Let's look at our labels, because these were stickers as well. And here we have some, a little bird here. I'm just gonna add a couple of these on there. One more, one more just for good measure. Okay, this is bugging me because this one is crooked. If I can get it pulled up and stick it. I'll be stitching around my tags, I always do, so. 
I'm not worried because otherwise I would add glue to the washi and stuff, but I think I'm gonna stitch around most of it. And I can always add glue under it if there's a spot that's giving me an issue. Okay, but these little labels, I wonder. Like, maybe they're not the right. Well, that looks cool there, but it's, we're getting a, a non summer or tropical feeling when we're adding all this, you know, to it. So it, it is, but it's not like beach summer, you know. I don't know. Maybe it's the maybe it's the cold medicine that's making me crazy here. This has something on it. Now which way does it actually go? No, oh, it says from. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, these are gonna be going every which direction. <laughs> But that one looks cool with that black. I like I like that. Add one more of these on there somewhere. I like to overlap things. So let's look at our ephemera here. Now, these we might use as our decorating top pieces. So let's go ahead and cut this apart. Now, I am going to have to move some of some of my stuff here. Um, but we could add washi on there if we wanted to as well. But I think we'll, use, we'll wait and use that for decorating. These, we ended up not using them, but I have plans for those, so... You will be seeing them. We could add some of these little ones too, but I think these ones are, oh, and, the, and these, oh goodness, we missed them all. But I think this is a really good start. So, I mean, you could make a bazillion more, you know, pieces if you wanted to. So now I'm gonna grab my big cutter out here. And then I gotta think about this. So if, this is just a coffee dyed copy paper sheet. So it's eight and a half by, this in bugs me here. Eight and a half by 11. So to cut that up so that I get the most pieces out of it, I'm just gonna flip it over because I don't wanna pay attention to what I cut or where. So I think the end of one of them now has to be a belly band. We're just gonna go, go for it. So I'm gonna cut like say a two inch belly band. See, there's a method to how I used to cut these apart and I think it was a two inch off this end. So if this is 11 now, I gotta bring it back to nine. And we're not gonna look at the pieces until the end, okay? So that's gonna be a belly band. And then I want, so that would leave us at nine. So I could do three three inch tags but I don't want them to be eight and a half tall. What if we did three by six? So I'm gonna go this way with six inches and then we'll cut our three tags. This one we're not done with yet. Actually, let's just cut this in half and then uh, we can make pockets. I know I used to make two pockets and I think at four and a half, right? Cause this would be nine. So four and a half inches right here. And those will be pockets, and then um, I'm going to set them there with that so I know those are pockets. And now I don't remember which way this, it doesn't matter. We need three inches. Or we could do, we're just going to go three inches. Three. And three will give us three of them at three inches it was nine so should be okay so those are gonna be our tags so now what we're gonna do is well this one is done um this one i'm gonna need to put that with so that is going to be a belly band okay and now you can decorate that up from there but isn't that cool we did get the, the little iguana's head or whatever that is on there and we could go back and add you know another stamp on here or something so but there's the belly band once we get that inked and decorated it'll be great these ones, let's see here, these ones are gonna be pockets. So can look at it and decide which way would you like it to go. I think I'm gonna do them this way. So I just put them right together like that. Line the tops up. 
and eyeball. You know what, actually, I don't, well, yeah. Eyeball, just a little tiny, tiny, thin one. Out of there. Because I'm going to stitch on these, and I don't stitch around the pocket top, so, but. So there we have a belly band, two pockets, and then we'll have these three tags, which I want to cut the edges off. So I want to make sure I got these all the right. Oh, that's part of the bird. Uh-oh, the bird got ox axed up. But we got a face on this one. We're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. And then that's his back there, actually. So we're going to go this way with that one. Um, and then this will be upside down. So you can just decide. And I don't really care if something is upside down. That's not really what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for if I want part of some one of the stickers or something on there as part of my focal point, you know. Okay, so I'm just using this little thing and cutting the tag shape out of them. And then we'll see. I know I can feel that there's trimming that needs to happen on, oops, that's the wrong side. That would have been a bad day. The trimming that's got to happen on the stickers on the sides of them too because I can feel... Like, I'm trying to cut them all at one time here. I see that little bit hanging off there. It's driving me crazy because I can't get them level or, you know, to the same outside or whatever. Okay. Loving your guys' fall decoration that you're showing on um, your self-care Sunday videos. I don't know if I'm going to decorate for fall this year or not, honestly. Okay, so there we have it. Three tags, two pockets, and a belly band that we can dress up. And, you know, like our belly band, for example, if you, you know, you can just ink it and add it or whatever. Um, I'm thinking maybe a flamingo on the belly band or something. And you can put fabrics and laces and stuff behind them, you know. So, I mean, but they're just cute her out of a pineapple sure why not you know I'm not going to decorate them with you guys you know you know how to decorate tags but I just wanted to show you the sticker sheets and stuff I mean that's a set of ephemera right there so um I will share a link to your creative studio in the description box below this video click on that link and I believe this was the May kit um that I received and um so check that out and I'll also share a link to my Etsy shop. You can check that out too. I appreciate you guys. Um, and I think I'm just going to call that a video and that right there and we will see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.